pretty interesting evening last night. I was a, a victim of a hate crime. Uh, these gay dudes jumped me and beat the crap out of me for one of the boobs. Just like, you booby lover. <laughs> That's how gay people talk. Hey, what, we just finished the uh, LateNightFix.com show, Presents Comics, and it was just huge. I mean, there were giveaways. Um, Chef's, he was there. He was mediocre at best. Oh, what's up, dude? How you doing? <laughs> See? See? There you go. Um, what else? We... Mom! We, oh, <laughs> Mom! <laughs> that was it. That was basically the show. It was him just yelling stuff and being himself, really, which no one liked. I'm down with KFC. I just I don't trust it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's good chicken, but... Uh, Let's be honest here. We all know Colonel Sanders probably stole that recipe from an indentured servant. <laughs> let's, be, let's be fucking real. But I was great. Brenda Colonna, get a shot of her. She was great. She was great. But, <laughs> all right, so listen, if you have a circle of friends and you have one friend in there that you weren't really friends with, right? You kind of be cordial and like you just said hi and that was it. Like you didn't hang out, you didn't talk. And then she gets pregnant. Uh, do you have to now be nice to her because she's pregnant? No. No, right? Like, what did she do? She just fucked, and now we can tell. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. We can just count back how many months it actually happened. That's what I'm doing. Johnny Scordis. Johnny Scordis was great. And that's actually what he's like in real life. That's what he actually, that's what he actually acts like. The stage thing is like, yeah, ha, ha. The rest of me is he's quite terrified. I don't think women should work on dealers the same way I don't think dudes should work in Victoria's Secret. You know, like, how would you like it if, you know, you're trying something on at Victoria's Secret and fucking I rolled up on you, so. Hey. <laughs> The other one. <laughs> if you need any help, we'll be by the fitting rooms with this drill. <laughs> this awesome show was amazing. We did time. Great people, energetic. And uh, look out for the next Late Night Fix program whenever Jackson decides to write it. And put me in it. Awesome. They say in prison, you gotta always be prepared for a riot. Always be ready and shit. I was thinking, like, what if I was at prison lunch? You know what I'm saying? And I didn't have my shank on me. What would I do to defend myself? And I figured it out. I fuck a smaller inmate to keep myself from getting fucked. That's what you gotta do in prison. You gotta be man, you gotta do man stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because inmates aren't haters. They see you fuck another guy, they're not gonna bother you. Like, why a time, motherfucker? Like, can't you see I'm making love to this man right now? Like, oh, my bad, dog. I didn't even know. We didn't gotta do that no more. Like, I know, I know, but I've been trying to fuck him for a couple of weeks now. It's my, my last opportunity. He's like, really? You been trying to fuck me? That is so sweet. Like, why didn't you say anything? Like, why didn't you say Well, I'm shy. I mean, you were in the taxi base. I'm in it for murder. I wouldn't think you would fuck with a guy like that. <laughs> Never allowed to do this again. You should come back. If it's called fantasy football, ladies and gentlemen, how come I can't pick a dragon as my quarterback? <laughs>